Northland's sand dune lakes and peaty wetlands are a rare and special part of our country. Yet wetlands are being plundered and destroyed by swamp cody mining in a frontier-style gold rush for quick and dirty profits. These precious gems are not only important for their biodiversity and habitat values, home to threatened plants such as native swamp orchid and Australasian bittern, but also because they're an important part of the water cycle, acting as sponges in the landscape and filtering runoff from the land. I believe it's removing a lot of the capacity of the land to hold water over summer because the pans have been broken. The explanation that I like to use is, is that the lakes are like icebergs. So what you see is only a fraction of the network that is the veins that are between the lakes. So if you sever, sever those veins, then you're going to impact on each network within the system. There's, they've put in a drain over there, and just right next to us here, it looks like they've started digging and exploring for logs in this particular area. But this level is below the level of that lake, so it will drain it. The government is allowing swamp kauri miners to make a mockery of our laws, our environmental protections, and the taonga of these ancient buried kauri trees. What we're seeing here is ancient kauri trees being mined from former wetlands, the wetlands being plundered, and MPI allowing the export of these kauri logs to fetch hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars overseas. The export of any ancient swamp kauri timber other than stump material is illegal under the Forests Act. Yet international websites are advertising swamp kauri logs and large rough sawn planks for sale. The last task for the kauri man is to load these large slabs into the container, which, by the way, limits the final dimensions of the boards. Remember that the log was longer, it was 18 meters, 6 meters longer than the container. Operation finished, now they close the doors and eight weeks later we can open our eyes and enjoy here the kauri boards, the largest one single piece of kauri boards in the world. The Ministry for Primary Industries appears to be failing to enforce the law by not only allowing the export of whole logs and planks but failing to check where the logs or stumps have come from. Even wetlands with the highest levels of protections have been mined for quick money and this is leading to an accelerated decline. We estimate that the existing wetlands outside the dock estate will prob probably be more or less destroyed within a few years at the current rate of extraction. Swamp Cody mining and exports need to stop and an urgent inquiry held into the destruction of Northland's wetlands and how the law is being broken. Ancient Swamp Cody are tens of thousands of years old and are a taonga to be valued, not a commodity to be ripped out and for the impoverished local economy to be ripped off. The jobs most certainly should be in New Zealand. We, in Northland, we have the highest unemployment rate possibly in New Zealand and here we are supplying every other country internationally with our jobs and our work. MPI needs to enforce the Forest Act properly. The illegal kauri exports need to stop we need to protect our wetlands because of all the values that they have as habitat for our native plants and wildlife.